Let's get this started with, people. I have Doctor Strange on. I'm just kidding. Let's get this started with. What physics all about? Let's start with electricity. Electricity. Kapow! Electricity is awesome. And if you remember from the previous episode, this lightning bolt is sort of this Lego lightning bolt is sort of opaque. So you're just going to have to see me throughout this for the entire episode. Just kidding. I'm not gonna make you blue shift it. Now it's red shifting. Now it's back to regular. Now, electricity is an awesome thing. One guy got hit seven times last time was so lucky, he caught a fire. And when he finally woke up from the knockout, he found his bear eating his dinner. Wow. Now, where does electricity come from? It basically comes from electrons. And electrons basically move in a circuit, in a, in a circuit, and because of that circuit, it creates some electricity force that creates electricity, which is what powers lightning. And lightning is three times hotter than, than the surface of the sun, so it could instantly kill you. But somehow, the guy who was hit by seven times by lightning survived. It's like hitting, like going into the sun three times in one second. That's gotta be burning hot, people. And electricity, of course, can also be repelling and attracting as there are electrons. And if they, like, try to hit a proton, it will just reflect itself. And static electricity. Ow. Ow. Now, static electricity is the thing that makes your balloon stick to the air. Like, rubbing it together, you basically electrified or the electrified the positive particles and the negative particles of the electricity there and then you've made a stick together because opposite attract if you remember and because of that it has a little bit of a weak magnetic force which attracts those two together but it's more of an electrical force to be honest and how does electricity flow i already told you electrons and you can literally use use that idea to create a battery where it makes of electrons flow together and this is the first battery ever it's just copper and tin and Tin, it's just copper and tin and zinc, zinc and copper and tin. Like, they, they just alternating currents of that, alternating layers of that, and then just put some wires together after you put them together. And that's basically, and then that's basically created the first battery. And the guy who made this thing named Volta. And the first idea of electricity being able to turn into energy? A guy accidentally electrocuted a dead frog, and the frog's leg twitched a little, and he's like, Is this thing alive? Is it a zombie? Wait, zombies don't exist? Hmm. But what made this thing move, though? It must be something to do with the electricity, but I can't explain it. I can't explain it! And then, the next thing, and then you use circuits, because that's how it seems to work. Now, circuits basically work like this. It's a basic graph, and then sometimes there's this battery. And sometimes you can add a little switch inside, and if you break that switch, it turns it off, and then... Then, this is very weak, as electrons have to flow from here and here, too. These two will be weak. If you do it like this, electrons can either flow like this, or they can choose to flow like this. Meaning, both of them will have an equal amount of current. Also, they have this one has more travel time. It won't be expended by use from you or from being already used by another one. It won't be second-hand electrons. It'll be literal first-hand electrons. Or second-hand electrons that are made new. I mean, that's what the battery is, making second-hand stuff look first-hand. And magnets, of course, I've already explained it in another episode. Magnets are basically used to stick on the fridge, stuff to stick on your fridge. Because your fridge is technically magnetic, it can literally attach to anything that's possible that's magnetic. Usually uh, iron, nickel, or cobalt, or variations of comp metals, or variations with those three metals inside of them. And then you can literally see magnetic field lines if you use iron fillings. And with that, you can basically create magnetic field lines. And that is basically the beauty of all this. Now it's time to talk about Lost in Space. Reminds me of that TV show. Lost in Space! Or Star Trek. Or Star Wars. Wait, that's Avengers. Now, space is vast, really vast. There are moons, stars, planets, stars, planets, stars, 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 and moons, where's the moon? And loads of other things, and this is where astrophysics come in. However, this is where all that Big Bang stuff should really go into. Now, since this already exists, we now really have to talk about everything related to space. 
Starry, starry night. This is the Milky Way. And no, this has nothing to do with Vincent Van Gogh, other than the fact he named this painting Starry Night. I love that song. Now, Starry Night is ba- Starry Night. It's basically a night full of stars, and it's everything that you can basically do. Black holes exist here, and you can literally. This part is basically where you talk about spaghettification. Spaghettification! You turn into spaghetti! Not actual spaghetti, of course. You turn into a big, thin, like, noodle of you. And if you somehow survive in the singularity as. Which this guy miraculously did. And that means. Well, here we are, black holes. Then you might actually just end up in a new universe or you turn into a place where you turn into God. And now that we're here, you're now we're here at lunar moon lunar eclipses and solar eclipses. Solar eclipses are the awesome thing. It's where the moon seems as big as the sun so that they converge and then it blocks out the sun's light because the moon's closer to us and the sun's far away so they look like about the same size to our eyes as relativity people relativity is my masterpiece relativity yeah cowboy yeah i'm not gonna go ahead and do the whole albert einstein song but then here you are it blocks the sun out, and this is basically what Tintin used to save himself from Picaros. And he's like, oh, noble sun god, close the sun. And they're all like, shut up, you do not rule the sun god. Oh, noble sun god, please shut the sun for and put us in darkness. And then suddenly it happens, and everyone's like, oh, oh what is happening? What is happening? And they're and the Incans are all like, please, save us, put the sun back, and release us. Yes, okay, so I'll do anything for you. Release all of us and never bother us again. Oh, yeah, and also, wake up those scientists. And then, that yeah, works. But a real-life example is with a lunar eclipse. Uh, with, with uh, yeah, a lunar eclipse is where the Earth is blocked by the sun. However, on rare occasion, so, this turn, sometimes it tur- the, the moon turns into red. And we call this the blood moon. I've seen this uh, miraculously a couple of times. It's awesome. And it looks like Mars. Christopher Columbus is like, oh no, we're stranded on this random island. This is a true story, by the way. We have no food. What are we going to do? Let's have the Indians. Indians, no, we'll not give you food. Mm, I'll be back. A few days later. Oh, wait. There's a lunar eclipse happening today. It's happening in f- 10 minutes. Time. Hey, give us food or my god will destroy the moon in the red, blood, red m- version. And they're like, ah, your god does not exist. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Keep arguing for seven minutes. Stall, 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 stall. Okay, I'll show you. Hey, god, space your fury and show it on the moon. And suddenly the moon turns blood red. And they're like, oh, no, 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 no. Well, I'll give you food. I'll give you food. Here's food. Here's food. Here's food. Now please turn the moon back. And they're all like, god. Turn the moon back to regular. Moon comes back. And they're all like, Ah, oh, thank you. Your god is all powerful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they are so totally convinced. And Christopher Columbus has food. Nice. And at least he has provisions now. That's how you use your big brain to get what you want. And then finally, finally, we have to talk about our solar system. Our, we live right here and basically we have please listen to this rap mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune such a favorite song. used to be my favorite song when i was a kid and it's, it's the only reason was somehow i somehow memorized all the eight planets in order and then realized that the ninth planet was a dwarf planet which is a shame and then finally with that we have basically finished this episode. So wait, I promised you in the title, EXPERIMENTS! Now, technically we have to talk about the history, but I'm going to skip all this because it's not actually physics. Well, if you want to, the first physicists were basically people who learned how to make fire using friction, and the next one, next big thing would be the Democritus's Adam Siri, and then would be, and then it would be, uh, Archimedes, Archimedes's displacement of water to find the volume of irregular solids, and Galileo getting in trouble with the church saying, Our sun is in the middle of the universe, not Earth. And the church is like, You are stupid! Get a house arrest! Sir Isaac Newton, just a few years later, figures out gravity and loss of motion just because an apple falls on his head. 
and Volta creates the first battery. Guy named Kelvin makes the Kelvin scale. Also, it should not exist. And then uh, Edison and Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla! Tesla! Yes, it's the Tesla that Elon Musk named his car company after. And they go into a current wars about which is better. ACDC! 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 I was not really sure that's the song. I never heard the song before. And then there's this guy named J.J. Thompson who literally creates, who studies lights called cathoid rays, and he finds tightly, and he mines electrons in the process. Then we have others referred who realizes about there's a proton, new neutron, and nucleus. Albert Einstein creates E equals MC squared. And uh, Lisa Maitner shows that it's possible to split the atom. The Big Bang Theory is finally widely accepted. Neil Armstrong is the first man to land on the moon. The World Wide Web is published. And then finally, the Large Hadron Collider, well, creates the Higgs boson. And here's one experiment I will give you. Now, you might, let's say you have a hypothesis saying, maybe you hotter, hotter than water, easier to dissolve stuff. So you can choose salt or sugar. Personally, I choose salt, but for some people, you can choose sugar. Because then you can use this to create rock candy. Anyways, back to the experiment. You basically need three bowls. The first bowl is filled with ice cold water. The second bowl is filled with uh, very, very hot water. And the third bowl is a bowl of water at room temperature. The third bowl is a control bowl. It's like the regular bowl, like at regular room temperature. Because room temperature is what you get for everything. So you put in like let's say 20 grams of sh like no 50 grams of sugar just because you want to and then now you can use this by hand but that could get more inaccurate results so try to use a spinner and use a spinner to try to uh, dissolve each of the sugar and time how long it takes to dissolve all of the sugar and the results will work like like this it should work out like this hot water the hotter the water the so the second bowl should have the shortest time of dissolving water and then well, boil the sugar water, and then the next part is pretty good. Now to answer your question, you can do the fun part. B boil the water again, and then put some strings inside, like a little chopstick here, and then put some strings tied down there, and then wait for it to slowly cool so that the sugar crystals will recrystallize on onto onto the onto the uh, string, and then you can use that to eat rock candy. I tried this in grade four. And it was awesome. Also, it was a failed experiment. It was still tasty. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Have your chance. See you guys soon. Until next time, turn on out. Peace.